back. It's Astrid Mueller again, the CEO of Girl Power and Possibility. <laughs> I'm here to help you um, succeed with your business and to inspire and empower you to rock the world and launch into orbit. <laughs> okay, so um, I've got a little bit more detailed success report for you today. It's, it's a new month and uh, I've started doing it this year to give you a real glimpse inside of my own um, entrepreneurial ventures to see what's working for me and what I'm working on and um, so that you can draw some inspiration and hopefully some power energy from me <laughs> that you can do it too. Um, yeah, and I'll share resources and all kinds of stuff. So here's what worked well for me in February. I'm going to give you a direct glimpse. So here were my focus areas and um, this is a, a success planner that I designed for myself and I'm so far I'm, I'm not selling that yet because I'm still testing it out and tweaking it out to make it really awesome. Um, this is my focus sheet that I used for the uh, month of February and um, I always make it a point to only pick up to three goals and sometimes even just one to really really stay focused and move forward with what I want to do and these goals are pertain to my big year focus goals which are also no more than three it was like two minor ones <laughs> to make a total of five goals for the year so all everything I'm doing is super focused this year that was my big big um, wish for myself to have crystal clear focus. So last month, February, my big goal, my one big goal, very biggest goal was the um, online launch. And what I mean by that is um, I was developing my first um, online seminar and um, they call this launches. It's, um, it's kind of a marketing uh, lingo thing. It basically means like opening up an online seminar for registration and creating some teaching content online. So I really worked hard this month to make this happen. And, and it turned out really great <laughs> in the sense, uh, in one sense, and in another sense, I'm not quite where I wanted to be. But um, so what worked great is um, I started out I'm going to give you a visual of me real quick. So um, at first I started out just thinking, okay, I'm going to launch this thing um, and just uh, just get it out there, make it good but small so I can handle it because these things can be like super overwhelming because you need like a website, you need a marketing concept, you need to do so much and to really make it rock, right? So so at first I was like, okay, I'm just going to do like a seed launch like Jeff Walker, a marketing um, genius, <laughs> calls it. Um, and I started out like that and then as I went along and developed things I saw all these inspirations and I ended up pushing myself and really um, push it further and further and I I, um, I created a really cool marketing concept that uh, I'm really proud of it was really cool um, I started with like a lot of freebies like a quiz and then I had like a three-part three video series a totally free training um, which I called the brand challenge, and um, and that was all the preliminary marketing with lots of social media on the side and that kind of stuff. And um, I also pushed the seminar content. So at first I was thinking I was just going to do like um, – uh, a small, you know, like a webinar call or uh, things like that. Um, but I ended up like doing a full website. <laughs> um, so, um, and I, I got a really, sorry, I'm excited. So I'm like stuttering. <laughs> no, I got, um, I pushed it so far that I got a really cool concept behind it. Um, and I'm going to give you a quick glimpse so you can see what I did. Um, so you can have like the full picture. So it's called the Astrid Mueller Brand Academy. And um, I, I made this graphic, which is actually inspired by my very first business graphic that I had. Um, my, my first business in 2005 was called Potato Mama Design. And I had, when I launched that business back then, I had a girl kind of similar with pink hair and she was also on a rocket. So I thought it was kind of symbolic for myself to use the same graphic as a basis. But um. I upgraded this one, and this is the girl, um, which symbolizes basically that any woman business owner, we all have so much power. I believe we all have a superwoman like hiding inside of us. Um, we have super talents. We're all unique. We have um, unique stuff that we can bring to the world, and it's my mission with this brand academy to not just um, help women have a strong personal and per a strong business brand, but also to really tap into your own superpowers and really let it out and. Uh, bring it to the world and uh, use it to succeed and to be happy. So um, this whole brand academy like um, evolved to something like much more powerful than just a branding seminar. It's like really girl power, like helping you bring your full potential out and make you um, create, help you create an awesome life. So, so and the rocket as a symbol is kind of um, the symbol of um, 
that I'm using because for me, branding helps you launch your business into, into orbit. <laughs> and then uh, a whole possibility, inspirations, and girl power stuff that I'm doing, that uh, that will help you to fly, <laughs> which, which I mean uh, kind of like following your dream and living your passion and being happy, have a great work-life balance. So that's why the rocket is really symbolic for me. So back to the glimpse into the program, it's a super simple website and super simple to use, how I set it up. Um, it's like um, just video for each module. It's a six week program. So first will be like a welcome video here um, with two small tasks for the first week, setting your goals and then using the Facebook group. That's a, a um, that combined with the, the program. It's like an integral part. So um, every week, um, Every week, like people get like an incentive from me um, with a welcome video and then tasks, as you see here in module, module two, um, and then those tasks you do on your own time, um, whenever works for you during the week. And then the Facebook group is there where you can post your um, progress and you have qu questions. Um, I'll be there to moderate those questions. And, and also the Facebook group, I see it as a community where all the students in this program can help each other succeed. So we can all kind of like support each other and help each other, inspire uh, inspire each other. What works for one person may not work for the next one. And so, um, uh, and uh, something random from one person who's like in a totally different field may really inspire somebody else. So anyway, that's, that's the concept and that's a quick glimpse here. As you see, um, there are six modules and there some of them are about igniting the brand. Um, this one <laughs> is like getting a blueprint for your brand. And then I have a lot of the girl power and stuff in there too. And then here's some essential graphics, visual blueprint, helping people get their texts um, drafted up for their brand. And then uh, module six is like really pulling it all together and helping you fire up your brand and your own powers too. It's like um, I have exercises in there that I learned for myself. Um, I, and got inspired by so many different books and like my own experiences to um, how you really can focus, how you can uh, collaborate, things like that. I put all of my knowledge in that seminar, so I'm super buzzed about, about this. And that was like a <laughs> super big um, kind of project, and I'm excited that I made it so big. What did not work for me um, as I had wanted to um, was like I wanted to get 30 to 80 signups for the seminar and I'm not there yet um, because I have a very small email list so even though I did like a bunch of marketing stuff that is really focused and all that like I'm not there yet so um, I'm, I'm still hoping that I can still do that in this week it's open this week so if you know anybody who's interested please help me share <laughs> I would really appreciate that to get it out there um, yeah but th that's the big one goal and let's go back to the success report here so that was that so it worked really great but also like in some aspects not but I'm still working on that so it's all cool. <laughs> Not everything goes perfect. Um, the second one, it was the second priority, is like growing my email list. And that, as you see, like I have a super small email list so far still. And that will be my next big focus to, to have more readers um, for what I'm doing, all the material that I'm doing. Because um, I'm doing this online entrepreneur thing where email list is really the capital. Like I give a ton of stuff for free all the time, but it's also part of my business concept to, um, you know, whenever I have something that's useful for my readers, that I can offer it for sale and then whenever somebody can use it they can jump on and buy it so um, it's like it all makes part with uh, sense with business too so um, this month I didn't grow it so much because my focus was on this the third one that I was working on last month was podcasting to get as a guest on other people's podcasts for more exposure. And that actually worked really well for me because um, I followed up. So that was a huge learning for myself. I had already done that in January, reached out to 30 podcasters, and in January I got one confirmed response, which was really great, and it was a really good podcast, but I wanted to get more confirmations. I wanted to get 10 uh, guest podcasting spots. Um, that was my goal. So this month I had like February, I made it my goal to um, to follow up and, and see if I can push this further. So I did reach out to all the ones that I had talked to a month earlier. And it was actually a huge success because um, instantly, like the next two days, I got like five responses back. And, and now I have five podcast spots um, confirmed um, and a sixth one uh, potentially <laughs> confirmed. And I still have more I can follow up with too. So that was that went really awesome as well. 
So the next thing I want to share with you is I did um, this uh, monthly review. I'm also that's also part of my planner that I'm doing to also see like how really like what did I learn, like what worked well, and also that I can like celebrate and be happy with with what I did um, and be proud of what I did. That's part of my planner because I I feel I strongly believe as entrepreneurs we also have to um, be proud of what we do, especially as women, like it's like, it's our business that we should also celebrate and not just hustle, but like have fun along the way. So um, I, I have a lot of like grateful stuff and fun stuff in there as well uh, in my planner for myself. So <laughs> anyway, so my review for February um, to super brief, but what I want to talk with you about here is that um, what worked really well for me. So something that you can learn uh, from me here. So one of the things here is the following up. But as I mentioned, it's a big learning for me. And that's something that I always put on my back burner quite a bit <laughs> just because it's like I'm not good at following up. And I don't know if I'm lazy or what it is. But like it always used to fall between the cracks. And this time I really realized, oh, my gosh, following up can be huge and really boosting your um, results. So um, I'm definitely going to do that more. Um, then the next one uh, that I really learned is that um, with my example for the the brand academy. So I started out small and, and just planned on doing this small thing, but it turned out so much better than I anticipated. And my learning here is that I can do much more than I thought. Um, and that's for you too. Like we can all accomplish so much more than we think. <laughs> so basically, um, a lot of times when we think something is too big, it's not um, we c it's not true necessarily. It's all in our minds. And what I did here to to um, kind of trick my mind is basically I just got going and I, I made it a small project. I said like, okay, I'm not going to do the big thing. I'm just going to get it done um, until the end of the month. I want to have it live. I'm going to keep it manageable. So I was um, planning on doing this small thing, right? So, and that put me in like a mental forward mode in, a, in an active mode where I felt energized and like, okay, I can do this, right? <laughs> so my mind was all going forward and excited. And as I went along, I found all these things, um, how I could make it better. So, so I kept like making, improving it as I was going along and suddenly it turned into this actually really big project with a full website, full website design. I did all of that in this month and got it live with my programmers who really backed me up with my crazy schedule. <laughs> um, I got a full marketing concept out there, like much bigger than I had anticipated. So all of that was possible because I started small and just wasn't forward mode, moving forward and like energized. And yeah, so my big learning here is really like you start small, but you can do much more than you think. Keep it manageable and move forward and it will be awesome. <laughs> okay, the next one um, that I really learned again and wor worked really well again was like reaching out to others who inspire me for collaborations or synergy chats. I do that a lot to build my network, um, to learn from others, and I'm currently also looking for another mastermind um, peer, another online entrepreneur to, to talk with regularly, to kind of success, uh, compare developments and successes. So just as a side note, if you know anybody or if you're one of those online entrepreneurs, you feel like you're really resonating with what I'm doing and you'd like to do mastermind um, accountability chats, reach out to me. Send me a message and we can chat and see if we, can, if we could be a good fit. Um, so anyway, so I did a bunch of outreach again this month, um, as I always do, you know, for, for cool women where I think like we may be able to do something together, like I could interview them for a podcast, or uh, we could work work together in other ways. Um, I did that a bunch of times, and I have to say this is always amazing. No matter who I speak with, we can always learn from each other. There's always some kind of great inspiration going on, and, and um, even if you can't collaborate at that moment, it's great to have like seeds of new friendships out there, and um, there may something may pop up later on, so it's a big inspiration for you too to don't stay in your shell. Just reach out, even if it's just like a, a short message, like "Hey, do you want to do a chat?" Like I think um, I think we could work together somehow, and this is how. Like give people an incentive to talk with you. Like um, tell them like why you think you could work together. Just a few ideas, and then and then have a brainstorm. That's all I do. Um, so yeah, that's always really great. 
And then um, the next one that kind of goes in the same veins, veins as following up is like reaching out a second time. That was a big revelation for me. Um, it's like with those synergy chats, for example, if I reach out for, if I talk to somebody for a second time, that, <clears throat> excuse me, then oftentimes um, suddenly I already have kind of a friendship connection. So um, for instance, I had somebody where, um, like Michelle L. Evans, for instance, she's like a really cool marketer, and she I found her through a podcast. She was interviewed there, and I really admired her. And I thought, like, oh my gosh, she has like this lady's already like really far ahead, and she is, and and she does great stuff and super cool marketer. And so initially, I reached out to her in January for a synergy chat because I thought, okay, I'm gonna bring her on. <clears throat> See if she um, she may want to do like either my podcast or um, a Skype interview that I can put in my newsletter to inspire others. Um, and so we did that in January. And when we spoke the next time, um, we did the recording, and that was already awesome. And now we're going to be doing business synergy chats and stuff like that, like uh, next time. So so you never know where you can lead. And like the second time you talk with somebody, already more doors may be open. Uh, you may see more possibilities. People may be more open to work with you. So that is another big revelation. Like it just takes like an additional call, and you're already on a different level. It's really very cool. Um, okay, awesome. So then I always do like what I'm proud of myself for. So <laughs> basically, this month I'm proud of my proud of myself for working my ass off <laughs> and creating something great. So um, here, excuse my language, but that's what it is. <laughs> um, and then I have to say, I'm, I'm grateful for a ton of things. So I have an, um, a ton of amazing books around me, and I'm going to show them to you in a second. I'm grateful for so many awesome people out there who really inspire me, like Kimra Luna, Pat Flynn, Jeff Walker. They are really great online entrepreneurs, have really cool stuff going. Um, Another lady that inspired me, and I've given a huge shout out to them because um, it really means a lot. Even if I just talk briefly with somebody, people can so inspire you. Sometimes it's like just a small remark or something, but um, I'm really grateful for all of that. Um, Carolyn Rim, I just spoke with her today. She runs a website, Spark Your Rockstar. You should definitely check out that lady. She does really inspiring stuff to to help people like get inspired and like move forward as well. Uh, and she has a super Super cool story. It was a big heart. She helped like homeless people with a very cool um, activity and does retreats and whatnot. So um, she just inspired me in a big way as an online entrepreneur. So thank you, Carolyn. <laughs> and then um, Rebecca Hall Gruder. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to pronounce her name correctly yet. Have to practice that. But she's. Um, I spoke with this lady, and she's also super inspiring. She runs this podcast called Empowering Women, Transforming Lives, and she's network director of Voice America Talk Radio. So I did a, a synergy chat with her um, and uh, to become a guest of one of our podcasts. And, and I will be on a podcast. So I'm really grateful for that and excited about that. But also because this lady had so much inspiration, she just like inspired me to think even bigger than I already am. She does so many cool things like several radio shows and, and you know, she's the head of the network. She has a TV show. And she does like all these things. So, oh my gosh, so I'm really grateful for so many people. And um, I could mention a lot many more, but like um, just like giving you a few here. <laughs> so this is a glimpse inside of my month of February. <laughs> um, so my intention with this was to give you an inside glimpse to inspire you, to help you get some resources. And before I jump out, I want to share a few glimpses of some resources. Um, so this is what I currently have on my desk here. ton of reading stuff and there's so many books um, that I'm starting to read and collecting um, more books of girl power stuff and big inspiration for one of my next projects once once the launch of my seminar is over and uh, I'm just giving you a quick glimpse like this book is super cool like lucky bitch uh, Denise Duffield Thomas cheers to Australia thank you for the inspiration she has a ton of really cool exercises for positive mindset towards money and helping you think big that you can uh, achieve big goals and get rid of money drama and stuff like that so if you you're in a spot where you can use some money inspiration and like positive visualizing stuff that helps you attract the money that you deserve because <laughs> she's really awesome um this is a super cool book that is just inspiring the things outside of the box um oh my gosh malcolm gladwell always awesome can't wait to dig in more um 
here's here's one Kara Albaleva that I started digging in and the girl code success um, sanity and happiness like super cool as well this one I started working with Gabrielle Bernstein I really love what she's doing too she has a ton of uh, tips of like really also bringing out your superpowers and stuff like that and then of course Natalie McNeil I've been following her for years like she takes on the world can't wait to dig into that more so there's gonna be so much more in the near future um, to inspire you all um, so this was a glimpse for my February and I'm gonna share my goal for for um, for this month so that um, you can also feel inspired to share your goal and your a big success from, from last month or something that worked well so we can all help each other and inspire each other and help each other succeed. That's my goal. So here's my goal for, for the month of March. My big focus will be um, to make my academy awesome and to, to get enough subscribers so that I can uh, run the academy. <laughs> I don't have to postpone it because I really want to run it. So um, that's my big challenge and I'll work hard on it and like if you know anybody who's interested in that seminar and academy and could really use some branding and girl power tips to boost the business um thanks so much for sharing <laughs> so now the invitation to you is like share something that worked well for you from february and leave a comment uh, and share a goal for you that you're focusing on in march and what you want to achieve there and leave a comment with that and if you want you can hop over to my facebook group it's um private group called Celebrate Possibility. If you're not on that group yet, come on over. Girl power, entrepreneurs, freelancers, small business owners. Um, the group is there. It's my vision to create this online community where uh, women worldwide, anywhere in the world, especially the remote ones, especially the bootstrappers who are like feeling isolated somehow, to get them all together where we can all help each other succeed. Um, so hop on over there and either leave the remark there or leave it right here on the blog. And uh, um, I'm wishing you a super successful month um, and I'll check with it in with you again in a month. Um, have a great month until then. To your success. <laughs> Bye.